Europe is in a deep economic crisis, but together we can change the course of Europe. Here we would like to critically ask ourselves, uh, does it really work? Uh, what could be done better? And we would like to bring those to the stage uh, who have uh, worked with such programs, who can really tell us uh, what has worked and what hasn't. Rarely we change something when we come home. We don't change our policies, we don't change our recommendations for the ministers, and we don't change our behavior. And we wanted to make a different conference where we had focus on changing the behavior of people so they make better policies. This is uh, somewhat different, sitting in a room uh, with round tables and uh, you have some papers on, on, on the table and uh, you vote and uh, you see movies you react on. Uh, that, that's very new to me, but I think it's interesting. The conference is based on the 10 dogma commandments. Obey them and confess your failures during the conference. But please remember the conference motto. The person who only takes seriousness too seriously and a joke for a joke understands both equally badly. I think you are all aware that we will celebrate some successes, but we will also try to pinpoint some of your failures, some of your mistakes, and those of you who have something to confess and would like to do it on stage, please raise your hands at any time and we'll invite you up here. On my journey, I have visited three different companies and it saddens me to see that only one can truly be called a success. So I'm wondering, will we ever reach two out of three? People who work in, um, in the government, they don't take risks at all. So that's, that's not good for innovation. To really support innovation, you have to go for the risk and for the risky projects, because that's where you can really gain something. Those where the success seems to be imminent, they will may uh, survive anyway. If the project turns out, as promising uh, as it looks uh, in the uh, early stages, what, what will bring it actually uh, to be implemented in society or bring it uh, to market? Is there a concrete plan or route mapped uh, ahead uh, for how it's going to be implemented? Because if there isn't, chances are that it won't be. It's a very good conference because it brings together all the stakeholders uh, to the same table. So I think it's very interesting to see how uh, government representatives, politicians, uh, policy makers from the European Commission, as well as, as uh, stakeholders from, from industry, from recent companies, uh, give their opinion and, and, and their feedback and their expertise on, 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 on what should be done better and where should be the focus going forward. What we should focus more on is how we improve the cooperation between research and SMEs. It's been mentioned a few times, but really how do we facil facilitate the process of cooperation? Because you cannot just bring a researcher and an SME together, nothing happens. They will be talking two different languages. Where Europe has always been good is kind of a scientific research, and I think that the education system is perhaps relatively the best in the world but perhaps where we are lacking behind most of our competitors globally is kind of a, that we are really making knowledge to money and I think that it's kind of a commercialization really are kind of a last mile to the market that, that we should really start to focus how to do it in a clever way not without the picking the winners as, as a, uh, the public authorities but I think really to create that kind of a facilitation and an enabling kind of a, those growth hungry startup entrepreneurs to really start to boom and then uh, to create the growth. <laughs> it is no longer coal mines that are shutting down, but multinational companies. It's great to see a change of um, 
emphasis, a change of format and structure. It's wonderful. Uh, everybody's sick to death of PowerPoint presentations, so I applaud that. It's a good investment because these ideas can be put into the classroom, which I intend to use. <laughs> if you want to have an SME, that it should be encouraged. It should be encouraged to go outside the national borders to bridge this, this, this gap between the industry and, and the, the academia and the universities. Well, I think this is an interesting approach. Very nice uh, surprises all the time. Order in the court. Now, I will now read the charge. The citizens of Europe are accusing the AFEMAC cluster, Catalonia, and the government of Catalonia for not creating enough growth and employment for the taxpayers' money invested in the cluster. Do I understand correctly that you started the cluster immediately with the aim to internationalize it? Yeah, it was very focused. So at that moment, the needs of companies, members of the cluster, where the, the level of internalization was still so low. So in our defense, we can say that after 15 years, we have increased uh, uh, the export rate from 20 to 55 percent during the last year. For this year, 2012, the worst policymaker in Europe is the No Risk Program. 88 people voted this to be the very worst program in Europe. I've never won an award before, uh, but as I said, I do carry this speech just in case. <laughs> I am very proud and excited to have won this award. I, I don't really know if uh, my office and country are proud, uh, but when I tell my mother, I am sure she will be very proud of me. And many large industries and factories have closed down or moved to other countries where the production costs are much lower. So do you feel uh, ready to go home and save the world or at least save the innovation system and uh, make some changes? Um, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm ready to go home and uh, stress test our, our own regional policy. My hope uh, is that after this conference nobody is using the term best practice anymore. Even striving for better practice is not good enough. We have to look for the next practice. And the next practice should be one that has an impact, that uh, makes uh, our life better and that helps in particular SMEs uh, to innovate better and faster. I once took a nap at a policy conference and I'm probably going to do it another time, maybe tomorrow. Occasionally I have felt that I was endorsing a project that uh, I did not believe in 100% uh, professionally because maybe um, if I stood up and said my professional opinion Maybe uh, some people would be very angry about that and that might be people who are in directly or indirectly paying my salary. I confess I run a program I don't believe works.